Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are finally going to be showcasing the Extreme Z Awakened Fizz Omega Shenron, and more importantly, the Shadow Dragon Saga category team under 170% leads. Now, real quick, before we get into the gameplay, I want to go over his Extreme Z Awakening details, so if you guys happen to already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, so starting with his leader skill, it is Shadow Dragon Saga Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, or Fizz Types Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 100%. His Super Attack raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage, and greatly lowers defense. And then his passive is... All enemies attack and defense minus 20%, attack and defense plus 150%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack performed up to 70%, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. So a lot of people have compared this unit to the uh, Fizz Final Form Cooler Extreme Z Awakening and for good reason because they do work very similarly. But the Omega Shenron, I think, is uh, definitely a little bit better. I mean, we'll find out over the course of this video. But just on paper right now, he does seem to be, you know, a bit superior. Okay, so with all that said, let's jump right into it. On this first rotation, we have the friend Omega Shenron, who is also rainbowed, uh, linked up with the uh, LR Shadow Dragons. And we're starting with 100 and 77,000 defense, which is not bad considering the fact that he has a lot of, you know, stacking to do on his passive, right? So uh, let's just give him a couple of orbs here. Uh, can we get an 18 key super or the LR? We cannot. That's okay. And here we go. First attack, first turn. Let's see what Omega can do. Okay, so we're starting with 3.3 mil. Which is, I mean, honestly, not amazing, but we do get the additional super here, 3.7. So, you combine those two supers, that's about 7 million attack on the first turn, which is decent. Which is decent. Okay, second turn. Second turn, we have my Omega Shenron, who is, of course, rainbowed. Uh, also linked up with the tech uh, Sin Shenron, and they share all seven links. Now, as you can see... We don't have big bad bosses right now, and that was also a big reason why maybe the attack stat for the first turn for the other Omega was not nearly as impressive as it could have been because big bad bosses does make a big difference, and uh, I wasn't able to, you know, max out his links before the showcase. So hopefully, we get below 90% HP as soon as possible and get that big bad bosses. Uh, you know, link going. Okay, so I'm gonna give nine orbs to the Sin Shenron. That's gonna be a full uh, passive for him. And let's see what happens here. So now this is my Omega getting a 3.5, so slightly higher because he does have more attack from skill orbs. And the additional attack, additional super. There's the additional super, 4.2. Okay, so that is three attacks now. So we have three stacks of the attack and defense. And uh, that was pretty good. And then we have the Sin Shenron, of course, doing his thing. If you guys didn't know, man, uh, this Sin Shenron is an absolute monster. You do not want to sleep on him, especially because he is, you know, no question, the best linking partner for the new Omega. Or not new Omega, but the Extreme Z Awaken Omega. So if you have Omega Shenron, then there's no reason did not run him with the new Sin Shenron. Okay, so we're back to this turn. And uh, I'm gonna give three orbs to my Omega, or rather the friend Omega. We're at 213,000 defense. And that's gonna be an 18 key super for the Shadow Dragons, and then a super for Godita as well. So we should see a pretty significant increase. This might hurt. Yeah, that, that's tough. Okay, so we should see a pretty significant uh, increase in the attack stat, which we did, 4.7. Can we get the additional super? One more? 
Damn, okay, so only one super there, 4.7. Um, I actually want to see what my Omega with the support from the LR Shadow Dragons can do. So I think next time we come back to this rotation, I'm going to break up the Omega and the Shadow Dragons and float the Shadow Dragons so that, so that we can get that rotation with the Omega, the Sin Chen Run, and then the LR Shadow Dragons for support. But we're doing, we're doing pretty good so far. We're doing pretty good so far. All right, back to my Omega Shenron now. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we have STR Vegeta, who, um, you know, if we get supered, might do some good damage. Although, our defense is looking pretty good. 239,000. Uh, let's give two orbs to Omega, hopefully. Ooh, okay, so we can't get the full passive for Sin Shenron, but he should be okay still, I think. Not gonna lie, I am a little bit concerned about his defense. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so 5.3 mil for Fizz Omega. This is his third super. Can we get one more super? We cannot, and now we're gonna get supered. Oh. Uh... Okay, okay, that wasn't terrible. <laughs> okay, it was pretty bad. <laughs> it was pretty bad, but it could have been worse. It could have been worse. Um, so I'll take that. And the good thing is, we know that the other guys, you know, the LR Super Saiyan 4s now, will take double digits for the normal attacks, so we don't have to worry about dying. Um, on the bright side, we should have big bad bosses active now. We should definitely have big bad bosses. So I said I was gonna break up the Omega and the and the LR, but um, I kind of want to yeah do an attack here with big bad bosses and all the links and everything. And if we put Super Saiyan 4 Goku here, he's just gonna finish. Vegeta by himself, so let's keep them together for now, and okay, here we go. Let's see how much damage we can get with big bad bosses now, and also, of course, a couple of stacks on the passive as well. Uh, 5.5, okay, 5.5, and one more super, 6.3, there we go. Okay, so 5.5, 6.3. You know, over 11, close to uh, 12 million attack right there. And now I think it's time for us to maybe heal up a little bit. I think that would be the smart thing to do. <laughs> so let's go for a Princess Snake. And that should still keep us under. There we go. Perfect. We're still under. Um, what do you call it? We're still under... 90% HP, so we should still have big bad bosses. There we go. And this should be a pretty good turn. As long as we get the additional super as well. We should do we should do a lot of damage here. This super shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so starting with 6.1. Starting with 6.1. Give me one more. Come on. Damn it. Uh, okay, so the RNG isn't uh, our friend today, as you guys can see. It's not a huge deal. Not a huge deal. Um, the Sin Chenron, guys, has been like crazy impressive in this video so far. Like, he is, I mean, kind of almost keeping up with the EZA Omega because he's been getting so many additional supers. And, like, you know, he's getting close to like 5 mil per super now. It's, um,. Yeah, it's it's quite impressive. I kind of forgot what the Shadow Dragons do with their active skill. Let me just quickly check. E plus seven, all enemies. Oh, attack and defense minus 30%. Okay, so it's not that good. Uh, I'm gonna just hold on to it for now. And uh, I don't think we need to heal up here. We, we definitely don't. Okay, so let's just do that. And then... Uh, most likely finish off Vegeta here 
with the friend Omega Shenron, who should be close to maxing out his passive. Yeah, yeah, because I think this is like the sixth attack. So I think the next attack most likely is going to be max passive. And uh, he's putting up some substantial numbers for sure. Okay, yeah, our defense is up to 313,000 now, and I don't even know if it's maxed out yet, to be honest. I think it might be, but I can't say for sure. So on this turn, um, one thing that concerns me is Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but I think he should be fine. So... Yeah, I'm gonna leave him. I'm gonna leave him. One orb for Omega. Uh, seven or... Only need seven, but I'll go for eleven. Why not eleven orbs for the sin? And then that's still gonna be a 18 key super for Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, as expected, taking normals here very, very well because we are over 300,000 defense, and now we're up to seven mil attack for Omega. We need that additional super though, man. Hug, oh, dude, come on. <laughs> We're showcasing you here, man. You gotta show out a little bit. You gotta show out a little bit. So, you know, we still took some damage there from the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta Super, but 200k or under 200k actually without items is actually great because, as you guys know, man, at this Vegeta, um, at this part in the event, does a lot of damage. So for us to be able to take a super attack from him for only, you know, 300,000, or sorry, uh, under 200,000, I think is perfectly fine. Okay, and now we're at 368,000 defense for the Fizz Omega, but what I'm gonna do here is actually break them up. I'm gonna break them up because, us oh, it's kinda dangerous actually, because I want to, I want to use this support for the other rotation, right? But at the same time, there are so many attacks at the end that it feels very dangerous. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is pop a Whis here. And then maybe even like another item, maybe like a Princess Snake. No, we should be okay. We should be okay. We'll heal up a little bit with the orbs here. And uh, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> Famous last words, man. I've said that so many times and like died immediately after. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, there's the additional super. Obviously, without um, a lot of links now and also without big bad bosses, most importantly. So, yeah. Hopefully, he doesn't super us this turn because if he does, it would be pretty tragic. It would be pretty tough. Uh, <laughs> I'm regretting my decision already, man. I'm regretting everything right now. Uh, okay, so... Um, yeah, we have Whis active. Norm oh god, okay. Oh, 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 we're good. We're still alive. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect, okay. So the risk paid off. The risk paid off. Now I am going to heal up because we just need to. And yeah, we're, we're good, we're good. You know what, that was scary. Don't get me wrong, that was scary. But uh, we are still alive. And that's all that really matters right now. So the passive should be fully maxed out at this point. And yeah, it looks like 7 million is the, the, the max here without support on this team. We get one more. Oh, it doesn't matter, I guess. Okay, we're we're killing him anyways. So that 30%, that medium chance the proc is actually not going off too often for us. Which, um, I mean, there's not much you can do about that. You know, that's just the way it goes. That's just the way it goes. Okay, so we're on SSB Vegeta. Uh, do we need an item? I'm gonna pop a Whis just for, you know, just be safe. And we'll get a super off with the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. That's gonna be a 12 key super. And that's gonna be... Oh, a Dogen attack. Okay, that's not what I wanted. I did not want that, but... Can't avoid it. 
it's, it's just how it goes. And at the end of the day, you know, even though we're here to showcase the uh, Omega Shenron, we're also here to showcase the team as a whole, so I think it's fine. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Already, already did a showcase yesterday for the uh, Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but it never hurts to see more of what he can do. And also, if you guys missed that video, then this is kind of like a mini showcase as well for him. But uh, the focus here is still, of course, on the Omega, who I haven't showcased yet. And uh, he's very good. He's very good. Okay, so... Yeah, Goku's doing fine defensively, as you would expect, after he supers. Omega should be fine as well. And we should get the LR Shadow Dragons on the next rotation. And I think Omega's going to be over 8 mil this time. And if he gets an additional super attack, that would be amazing. You'll see the friend one is going off right now. I really need mine to do the same next turn. Or I'll be really sad. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. So, oh, one thing that kind of sucks is um, we don't have big bad bosses anymore. I actually didn't account for that, but that's because of the Dokkan attack. So, uh, okay, maybe if I put the tech Sin Shenron in the first slot, and if he gets supered, that might give us big bad bosses. But I'm not counting on it because... I mean, even if we do get supered, he's probably not going to take too much damage. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, crap. Okay, is Sin going to kill him? <laughs> Yo, Sin might kill him. Okay, he's still alive. So we can get one attack in. One attack in. And a little bit anticlimactic because we lost big bad bosses. That's my fault. Actually, it's not my fault, because what can I do about the Dokkan attack? There was there was no way I could avoid the Dokkan attack, so we were going to heal up anyways. So, um, that's just the way it goes, guys. Uh, like I said, if you just do the calculations, I mean, he should be over 8 billion easy that turn with big bad bosses. What is my fault is not getting him to level 10 links before the showcase, but I just didn't have the time. I apologize, but uh, hopefully this still allowed you to get a good feel for what Omega Shenron looks like, what he can do. He's great. He's really good. He is, in my opinion, a better cooler, even though cooler is still amazing, don't get me wrong, but um, more so than like, you know, the passive and all that stuff, he has a much better leader skill. So I would take this guy over cooler for sure, but um, they're both awesome. I don't want to diss Final Form Cooler because he is one of my favorite EZAs in the game. But uh, I really, really like the Omega Shenron Extreme Z Awakening. I think it's very good, very powerful, good defense. It takes a little bit of time to build up that defense. So in the earlier stages, uh, you have to be a little bit careful with him. But once he's built up, he's going to be over 300,000, uh, which is fine. Um, and of course, damage wise, you know, like six to seven mil per super with support, eight mil most likely, uh, double to triple supers per turn. Uh, more than enough damage, I think, to satisfy anybody. And uh, yeah, that is the showcase, guys. That is the showcase. Between the Omega and the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I would say... I mean, I like them both, but I probably... Uh, I probably prefer the Omega a little bit more. A little bit more. Maybe it's just a novelty. Maybe it's because we have another really good Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in the game, the Int one. And also, of course, the uh, LR Super Saiyan 4s can fuse, right? Whereas the uh, Omega Shenron, I mean, the only other one that's like decent is the STR1, who has an Extreme Z Awakening, but even at this point, he's kind of outdated, right? So he is by far, like, no, no question, the best Omega Shenron in the game. So maybe for that reason, I kind of prefer this guy over the uh, Tag Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. But. Both great Extreme Z Awakenings. I have no complaints about either one. And uh, that is your showcase, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this guy. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. 
sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.